Welcome to another day of developer's vlog. I am still on vacation and just left the mosque. So I have almost half of the day uh, in ahead that I can work and like do on my own projects. Uh, so if you remember last time, uh, I started working on the budgeting application. But I have to tell one thing that I couldn't sleep, to be honest, without finishing out my clipboard application. Unfortunately, I just paused the budgeting application and started working again on the clipboard management. And I actually made a good progress. So let's find the coffee shop around me and I'll show you what I have done and we'll work a little bit on the new features. So let's go. Я кем что-то же бронирует ответ, ну тебе на звонок. Все, потрат. Ага, рахмет. All right, guys. So I already mentioned that I was working on my clipboard application. I have already mentioned also that I have some good progress, and let me show you what I have. So first of all, everything works really good as it was before. Let me first show how I fixed searching engine. So let's say that I want to search for button image. As you can see, it also works really good. Also, I was working and fixed the adding new section. You can add as many sections as you want. It randomly picks a color for your section. For now, I'll make it changeable, but for now it's randomly assigned by me. Another good thing I was working on is assigning the history item to the section that is specific for at the space section 2 here it is as you can see but I have one bug I just noticed that assigning new item to the section it disappears from history but it shouldn't it should always be in the history as well as in the additional section so the things I need to work on right now is to make that section is renameable. For now it doesn't work. And fix that assigning item to another section problem. It shouldn't disappear from history section. Also, I need to add some preferences to setting section with pre-added short keys with general settings and subscription model. So let's go. But before I want to have a lunch first because it's already 2.30 p.m. I'll have a lunch and start working again. So here is my lunch. So yeah. Good. So I have finished iterating through sections. Uh, I have fixed the assigning item to the section and I have implemented the renaming feature. So most of the task for today I have already implemented. Right now I have to head to home because I have things to do and I'll probably continue working from home. So I'll see you there. <laughs> Salons. By the way, guys, um, not everybody know, but I had a coffee shop business and I had to close it like uh, two months ago, probably because I couldn't handle to manage a full-time job and that side hustle. So yeah, I had to close it, but 
I still really obsessed with everything that considers a coffee, right? The process itself, uh, the taste of coffee and everything. I even bought a coffee machine after that to my home to do it my own. And why I'm saying that? Like one month ago, a very popular brand in Russia and Kazakhstan, they opened their first digital coffee shop. That's what they call them uh, in my city. And it's really fascinating. I really want to test it out and take you guys with me so to see how they manage flow because they don't have person at the counter, right? That receives your order. Yeah, let's go. And after that, I think we are going to get grab my chair. <laughs> All right, guys, I have something to share with you. Yeah, finally, look what I have now. I have finally have chair, not just a regular kitchen chair, but this one is much comfortable. So a company called Flexispot provided me this chair for review. And so let's review that. And after that, we'll continue our coding session. So let's go. guys so features that I already implemented I want to share it with you let me demonstrate it how does it work and I still noticed some bug but I don't know how to fix it because the the value and the implementation that I'm already doing works everywhere but not in this case so let me show what I mean so let me show you what I have implemented when pressing command and square brackets you can iterate through sections as you can see and you can also iterate with items right and now finally you can assign item to the section here and it shows you what section is that here by indicating with this color so everything seems to work really fine right but if you have that kind of setup where at the top you have dual like a dual screen monitor but arranged like a top and bottom 
the bottom screen works really good but if you go to the top screen you see that bleak here right that it appears from not zero as the initial y point but somehow it goes to the bottom screen so i have to fix it now and most of the features are done so we're doing good i think in a couple days maybe three or four maybe one week maximum i'll finish that app and release it so that's it for now i already show you what i have implemented what bugs i have that i have to fix yeah so i'll see you in the next video